Hello. Hopefully this uh, crazy hot sun doesn't make me look too awful. I don't know. Can't really tell. It's so bright, can't really see the screen. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be a little bit behind on uploading this video. I've been really proud of myself with how consistently I've been uploading. Didn't think that would happen for the first while, but um, we had a couple of deaths in our family back to back, uh, one on my husband's side and one on my side, so just haven't really had the time. Um, sorry about the beeping. Um, what am I talking about? It's really hot out here. <laughs> Welcome to summer, um, hot and super humid in Pennsylvania. So um, in this video, I'm gonna talk about my new diet and um, just a little bit about my property here. You can see back in there, um, it's very overgrown. I call it the thicket. It's about, oh my gosh, we have so many gnats. I don't even know where they come from. It's insane. Um, I call it a thicket. It's about an acre, a square acre or so of lands that is just totally overgrown. Um, and we have plans for it. And I'm just going to tell you about them real quick and how, why that's health related. So let's go take a little walk in my awesome thicket. All right. So here it is. Um, this whole area, well, okay. Here's what it looked like um, when we first moved in. The whole front area here that's been cleared out of trees. And you've got these giant piles of uh, wood. Those weren't there. All of this was the same. We moved in as it is in the back here. Um, and it's just, it's just weeds. Like, <laughs> you know, there's, there's some grass, I guess, but here, when we get back here to the edge of the overgrowth, my, my husband's been, you know, mowing this little section here, keeping it suppressed. Um, so more, more grass-like things are starting to come in here, but in the back here, it's just like extremely high, um, extremely high weeds that change throughout the season and lots of multi-flora rows as well. There's a big wall of that over there. Um, lots of vines going on, climbing up all the trees. Yeah, so it's just gonna be a ton of work to get all this cleared out. But we have this area in the front here cleared out, which is going to be um, a little orchard area. We're gonna plant some fruit trees and eventually um, I'd like it to be like a permaculture garden sort of thing. I don't know what the heck my neighbors have going on over there. It's like three neighbors or four neighbors down, but they've got just like giant mounds of dirt in their yard that I think they I don't like, I don't know, they get stuff out of it? Rocks? I don't know. But they've always got like big equipment digging up this giant mountain of dirt and rocks. So I don't know what that is. That's what the beeping is. And it's like all the time. Amazing. I love it. But so yeah, we're going to have a little permaculture area back in here. And hopefully eventually like in the, the back part, um, that still has most of its trees. Most of those are black walnut. Um, and so, you know, we're going to thin them out quite a bit because there's a bunch of little scraggly ones and whatnot. But um, we're going to thin them out and then we'll be able to have, as they get bigger, uh, most of them are still not quite big enough to be producing much. <gasps> Baby toad! <sighs> Run! Oh, I got to get it. Come here. Oh my gosh. Okay. 
I can't get it. Oh, he's too small and little and fat. <gasps> I got him. Yay. <laughs> there he is. I don't know if you can see because I can't see the camera. Aw, little buddy. <laughs> we have lots of toads and stuff around here. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> okay. Um, this here behind me, I'll just do it this way. This, oh my gosh, I don't want to film. This is a mulberry tree. It's, uh, uh, yeah. It's a mulberry tree. There you go. It's wild mulberry, so it doesn't taste very good. Um, so, what's stopping us from getting all of this done now? Well, I'm gonna go sit down first because I'm really out of shape and just walking around holding a thing that's mildly heavy, which is my camera and tripod, is making me tired, so. So what's stopping us from getting more done on that front? Well, um, we need a deer fence. <laughs> We are in a rural area. I find that word, word really hard to say for some reason, rural. Um, and we get lots of deer in our yard um, all the time. The area here, let me see. That's like along the edge of the property, down there, deer will come through and then make their way up along the edge of the property and go through to the front and then and then across the street through um, the brush over there. Um, so we, we need a deer fence and other fencing too for, you know, if we have raised beds. We're gonna need raised beds for vegetable gardening because we got voles and moles you're gonna dig up. So I gotta, from what I understand, I gotta make some big raised beds with like some gravel at the bottom to keep them from getting in. And then we got a ton of bunnies, <laughs> so need to enclose everything. Um, and that costs a lot of money. So it's just, um, we're you know trying to save up money and maybe in the coming years, we will be able to do more slowly, you know, over as time passes. And I'll be able to document that and share it with you. Um, we are going to be planting some fruit trees in that uh, area, that cleared out area, uh, this fall. So I will totally show you that. And those can just be enclosed, you know, but with cages, just single cages around the tree. Um, so, you know, that's a great place to get started since the trees take the longest to get established and bear fruit anyhow. So, um, I will totally be showing you that. Why do you care? Why is this health related? because I think that it's a fire ant right there. I'm gonna go inside. It's hot. Okay, so I filmed a bunch more stuff and I was editing it and I'm like, this is the most boring I've ever seen in my life. So I'm just gonna super quick say what my diet is it is based on the zero tolerance dietary framework. This comes from Grim Hood. If you're on health Twitter, you know who he is. He's got a Patreon. What I'm showing you here is just a super basic overview of zero tolerance dietary framework. So if you're interested in this, check out his Patreon. I will link it below. He's got um, a ton of different protocols for all sorts of things. It's really cool. Um, and this is basically what I'm going to be doing, except for I'm going to be continuing to drink coffee, as I mentioned in my last video, and um, try to slowly wean off of that. I may be purchasing some items from Grim Hood's shop, which I will also link below. He's got a whole bunch of like herbal tea blends, and some of them say that they're good for coffee replacement. So maybe I'll try that and report back. That's my diet. There you go. And how is this health related? Um, well, besides the fact that eating fresh food 
is obviously preferable to eating food that's been sitting around at the grocery store or um, having traveled hundreds or thousands of miles. Um, there's a lot of stuff that I really just don't feel like I can explain right now. Um, I'll see if I can find something to link below from Dr. Jack Cruz about um, the importance of eating locally and seasonally and um, the light signature that's in the foods and um, all that kind of stuff. But you know what? My brain, um, I don't feel like I can explain it right now. So I'm not going to try. Thank you so much for watching this video. You are amazing. See what I'm talking about? Deer.